to pilot program that has capped at 15,000 students. We got a million students in the state. So that's 0.015% of the students. 1.5%. No, 15,000 of a million is 0.015%. No, it's 1.5%. <laughs> do, do that up because I've done. We didn't ask teachers. One point five on the calculator. Right. Yes. You're always going to have to play. So on the calculator, yeah. You say the five point seven million. How does that not count as getting something for your vote? I'm talking about something specific. I've been accused of getting something like some boondoggle project for my district. No, you were accused of getting something in return for your vote, which it sounds like you're sitting here saying that's what happened. I have not been promised anything. The money I have gotten was already in the but budget. But the 5.7 okay. million. Okay. There is no 5 point. The 5.7 yeah, was the number that I was negotiating with beforehand. I haven't got anything yet. I hope to be able to make Knox County as whole as we can. By selling out the rest of it as whole as we can? And it seems like it would be much easier to actually update the BEP since it hasn't been updated since 1992, fully funding the entire state's public schools. The BEP is fully funded. Now, in terms of the brokenness of the BEP, I could agree completely. How do you feel about Medicaid expansion? I oppose Medicaid expansion. Yes, yeah, so you didn't want public money paying for people's health care, and yet why is it okay for public money to go for to go to right. uh, this is, schools? Yeah. It's, and so okay. I work with these children. They're just like the kids in Knox County, man. We end up isolating these, these communities of people and then we perpetuate this income inequality cycle. What do you mean? I, that's you're saying you're not doing. fixing the schools, you're actually just sending kids right. away. We've put $1.5 billion into public education, barely moved the needle. We're in the bottom in per pupil spending though. We're the most improving state in the country. The program is not for everybody. It's not for everybody because the poor kids right. can't make up the difference. You argue that it's good for another county. We don't have any failing schools in Knox County. There are plenty of counties that have failing schools that don't want this. Don't you want to do for the one what you wish you could do for the many? I mean, what if one of those kids is the next Ben Carson. Th that's what? the difference. That's the fun. The more we separate kids, Jason, the more the bottom oh. drops out. They take the cream of the crop, they move them away, and the money goes with them. You're not actually helping the kids you're thinking about. It just leaves them behind. That's what he's trying to say to you. You leave behind a lot of kids so they can be helped. When you condone and even affect what, what amounts to a version of white flight from the schools. What did you think? Say, say whatever you said again. What does that mean? Dr. Brown versus vouchers, vouchers started because of desegregation, Jason. You leave behind the more disadvantaged children. Less and less attention. On and on. It not just perpetuates, it deepens. I think your kids go to private school. I have one and he does, yes ma'am. It's not going to be an option for the people who are in the lower income. They're not going to be able to afford that. What you're going to get are these pop-up scamming <laughs> right. schools. But it doesn't really matter because it's not happening in your district. Hey guys, you care thank about you for coming in. I appreciate you coming in.